so what we want to start? We want to start with Mortal Kombat, Invincible, or Falcon? Um, I would say, let me see, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. I need everybody to rise for our new national anthem. <laughs> well, what is it? <laughs> Nigga, I don't know something dips it. <laughs> dips it. Dips it. Dips it. I really mean it. Oh. Do for five purple top. How you keep so, getting caught in the same quarter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch, you burn me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, season finale. Or se- mm. Season or series? Both. Uh, probably. They, they said they might. Be opening it to a series two, but so I don't know. Yeah, they haven't really said if they're doing multiple seasons for these shows. So as of right now, we just gonna take them as one and done, like mini okay series yeah. type of thing. So series finale question mark? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, how, first of all, how did y'all like the season as a whole? I liked it. It was good. I definitely like Wandavision better, like which is fine. But okay. I, it, it's it's still a good show. It's just I think. There was just a lot more going on with WandaVision that I think had people talking a lot more versus mm. this. But I think this is this is more of like just a, a elongated movie, I think, versus like some spectacle that like WandaVision was. Mm. Like because every week Wanda was like, What the fuck is going on? What's your power doing? This is just like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. a straight up just like a story, which is good, which is fine. Yeah, just a straight through line, like you know what's gonna happen next. Yeah. Kinda. I mean to a certain to, to some level, yeah. Yeah, to yeah, to a certain extent. You know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Um so how do we like this last episode? It was fine. It was fine. I mean, it was obvious. like like if we don't get another season, was this a nice button on the the season? Yeah, because yeah. it gave us character growth, which is the whole point of everything. It was Sam making the decision to actually take up the mantle and finally become Captain America, and it basically, I mean, obviously that was what the crux of the whole season was, which is him actually making that choice after Steve had gave him the shield. It mm. shows Bucky having some growth. Like even was it like not last episode, maybe the episode before, um, where he was asleep on the couch because before they were going to show him he was sleeping on the floor. Like so, that shows him even integrating back into normal life a bit. Like so, it's like those little small nods of things. Him growing. Um, even John Walker, uh, I like John Walker, even though like he just wasn't Steve. So that's why everybody shit on him. But even <laughs> yeah. him, he wasn't. He wasn't really like a horrible, horrible person. He just wasn't Steve. Yeah, like, that's why niggas was hating on him. Mm. So it was it's cool. The only thing I really didn't like was the Sharon thing. I really didn't. You didn't like that. Sharon? I didn't like her being a power broker. I just I I, just, I understand it to a certain extent. But I was like, she seemed like she was just like a a good character, and like for her to just be like the bad guy kind of villain. What is it the bad guy? Ish, right? She was killing people. She killed um, Bart Tractor Weaver because he knew who she was. Like, like that's not like good people shit. Like, I kind of see that. Steve same. wouldn't do that. Yeah, she didn't have to I kill mean, that nigga. She not Steve though. Like, like you know what I'm saying, Sam wouldn't. Bucky wouldn't do that shit. Like, non being non Winter Soldier. Like, like this. Like levels of good guys. I shit. just feel like she got pissed because she got like extradited. Like everybody else got to come home, and I'm just fucking stuck here. Like I risked my neck for y'all, and y'all just. I mean, the snap happened, so we don't know what the fuck happened to her. Like, yeah, I think she, I think she got snapped too. She did. I think so, but I don't know. I don't know if that for certain. That's something I'd have to like look up. But yeah, but I don't know. It just to me, it was just like, I guess it's something for the character to do. So I'm not mad at it. It just wouldn't have been my first choice of thing for her. But mm. what else? What else was they gonna have her do? Mm. Right. Because she's not Steve Love injured, like you know, Steph make which is I guess is a better direction for her because now she actually has something to do besides just being Steve's love interest because he couldn't have Peggy. So you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I'm not mad at it completely. What if they I'll switch it in the whole time she's working for Nick Fury still? It's just with Sword. I mean that could be cool. I mean it is this time, but I, I mean there's time for that to maybe, but the way it ended made it seem like nah, she's just going full force in this power burger shit. I don't know, because she's saying, mm-hmm. she's saying they have all the secrets now, like, they, you know, she was on the phone talking about something, alright, I got access to all this shit now. Yeah, because she's back in the CIA who, now. Yeah, we don't know who she's talking to. The people who work on the her, saying because they lost the, the, the um super soldiers because they're all dead, mm-hmm. and so they don't have, and, they, and the doctor's dead, so they can't make more serum, but she's like, fuck it, we don't need that. We we got access to CIA secrets now, like, so I got mad shit to sell, mad information to sell, mad secrets to have, so that's just her doubling down on being bad guy, or Bad guy, Jace. 
Mm. You think she worked with fun. um Adam Hydra? No. no, I think Madam Hydra got her own thing going on. It seems. Yeah. It, it feels like it's a lot of <clears throat> shit going on. <laughs> yeah, that's this, the case. yeah, there's some other shit going because um I know. See, this is one of them things where coronavirus sort of fucks some shit up because I um I'm I'm like ninety seven percent certain she's supposed to show up in um. Uh, Black Widow? Yeah, Black Widow. Sorry, thank you. So she's supposed to show up in that, so I think they probably would have liked to have, you know, because I think Black Widow was supposed to come out way before this shit came out. Oh, right. right. So, mm-hmm. and I think, and also I think that's why this... this, this Widow got this, pushed back three times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's also, I think, part of the reason why this shit was only six episodes is because coronavirus interrupted their filming and shit. So I think they might have made it a longer series or had more cameos, and so they kind of had to, like, truncate shit, so... Yeah, I think she's doing her own thing. I don't know, making her own Secret Avengers or something like that, or Dark Avengers type. There, of shit. there was a Black Avengers at one point, but Nick Fury was running it and it had Punisher and Blade on it. <laughs> <laughs> and Negro Avengers. Yeah. Now, but I'm, I'm telling you, she's probably making her own Dark Avengers. Avengers. She's gonna get U.S. agent. She's gonna get. Uh, See, that's that's Black, what I'm talking about. Yeah, Black Widow's um sister, sister, whatever her name is. Yeah, so she'll be the the Dark Avengers, Black Widow, and. Whoever else she ends up getting, yeah, you think they'll get Blade? Cause like the uh, the Avengers <laughs> that that was dark, they was the Avengers that would do the dirty shit that the other ones wouldn't do. Yeah, well that's that's John Walker. He'll murder a nigga oh, yeah. early. <laughs> <laughs> early. <laughs> that is interesting. Murder nigga off top. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. All right. So what happened this episode? Well, first of all, I want to ask. Have we ever seen a, a a series that wrapped up a storyline from beginning to end in six episodes and did it like kind of flawlessly? Have we ever seen it? I'm sure it exists. I just six can't think episodes? of something off the top of my head. I mean, this was this was six episodes, right? Yeah. yeah. And I feel like they told the story of everything from like you know the plight of black people to coming back after the snap to adjusting to life after the snap to you know him being on the fence about being Captain America. The backstory of the black. Uh, Super Soldier, introducing yeah. uh, the Young Avenger dude, uh, Zemo, fucking day. Like, they did mad shit in six episodes. Yeah. And then the, the last Man. episode kind of, like, encapsulated everything. And it's like, I'm cool with this. I don't, like, I don't have any unanswered questions. I don't have any, like, oh, y'all should have did this. Yeah. I mean, most British shows are, like, six episodes long. So I'm sure one of them shows did it. Mm. Because they don't, they don't have the long seasons like we generally have here. They usually do six or eight, and then they're out. Um, so I'm sure. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm sure there's a show somewhere that did it. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Yeah. All right. So yeah, what happened this episode? Um, hmm. you pretty much explained like well, well, in pretty much ran through it. But uh, one thing I did found kind of interesting and I think they're going to use it again is the um Isaiah uh Bradley shit mm-hmm. like him finally being in the museum mm-hmm. there's a good chance they might bring that character back in some way well I don't know if they'll bring him back but his, no, not the uh, character grand- but just just the the whole thing of it oh yeah I mean his grandson is definitely a young Avenger so I, they might even if it's not him directly they might do something with his grandson right and use that as a legacy thing right yeah uh, like, oh, my grandfather's now in the, the history books, and now I want to step up and be a hero like my grandfather in the in the light. Yeah, these other young young heroes and shit. So there's always room for that. Uh, the flag smashers, right? Yeah, they all got killed, right? Um, uh, all of them no. except for one. One of them. Yeah, one of yeah. them. Alive. Yeah, because it was one of yeah. them said said some shit and didn't didn't truck blow. <laughs> Yeah, he said yeah, one he people, one the, world. If you want world, and that shit just blew up. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was uh Zemo's uh butler. Oh damn! Yeah, that was uh, Zemo. But Zemo did that. That was his butler. Oh, he did. The dude that was, the dude that was flying the plane for him and all that shit. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, 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 you're right, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know, Zemo don't want super. He doesn't want superpower people in the world. He, you know, he wants to kill them. So, you know, they had got captured, and then you know, I, you know, but because the fl- uh, the flag smashes is a sort of global secret organization, there's people who are sleep agents that believe in their in their cause. So I do think the dude was gonna help him escape, but then. Yeah. Zemo was like, nah, nigga, he's dead. <laughs> uh, so they're dead. Uh, Sharon shot um, Carly yeah. because she found out her secret. Well, no. But she, yeah, she knew she about it. Out. Yeah, she knew about it, but then she was like, nah, you gotta die. They have nobody <laughs> know who you are. 
Um, it was just you know it was cool. Sam became Sam showing up and saving people as Captain America his own way using the, his wings in the shield. It was yeah. pretty cool. Mm-hmm. He has two red wings now and shit, um, which is cool. So he's using a combination of the wings and the technology to be Captain America. Um, and then John Walker comes and helps him. You know, and they just beat the shit out of the flag smashers. They tried to like stop the vote. Um, and at the end of the episode, Sam sort of, you know, did the Captain America thing and like browsed behind the people. It's like, listen, what y'all doing is wrong. You got to find a better solution for like this new world that we're in. And don't just take this route that you're trying to take because we can do better. So it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Like one thing I do, uh, I do get tired of seeing is that people don't like how political this shit is. But if you look at it, a lot of Marvel shit is political. Like, it's just yeah. that people just, you know, on that, oh, if it's woke, it's corny. Like, it's like, nigga, like, wait until X-Men come. You're going to be really pissed. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're going to be really pissed off. <laughs> yes. Now, I don't know much about U.S. Agent. Is he an anti-hero or is he someone that is confused on his role? Or, like, what is he? I would say an anti-hero is kind of like the Punisher. Like, he's not Steve. Yeah. Like, he's just one yeah. of the people that he'll kill if he has to. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I mean, it's it, what happened in this show is basically kind of parallels. I think the character's comic book history was like, for whatever reasons, in the comic book, Steve got removed from being. I think Red Skull has something to do with behind the scenes, but he got removed from being Captain America. They got Homeboy to take over as Captain America, but he's more of like a fascist and more aggressive Captain America. And basically, then he got kicked out because, like, you know, he's being more extreme than Steve would ever be. So, mm. so then he just picked up the moniker of US agent. So I don't know if he's necessarily a hundred percent like a bad guy in the comic books at least like a bad guy, bad guy, but he's probably more of an antagonist than than anything else. Okay. All right. All right. So all in all, um good series. I yeah. fuck with it. Uh what do y'all give it one out of ten? Oh uh, eight. Yeah. Seven and a half, eight. Yeah, seven point five. Yeah. So so WandaVision was a nine for you, Hesh? Yeah, it was like an eight, nine, eight and a half, nine. It was really I, yeah. I, I I like I just like for me personally, like so the stuff that they're doing has a bigger implication for the Marvel cinematic universe as a whole. Mm. This was just a nice contained story for Steve and Bucky, which is fine and good. Um and I'm guessing and, and, and there's probably they probably laid the groundwork for some shit that I just don't know that's gonna like pay off later. Yeah. But in terms of spectacle, I think WandaVision had more of what I was looking for. Okay. 